So this should be the last episode in the series. We're going to destroy India here, and uh, things went pretty smooth these last couple turns. Let's just make sure that we can, I think, take over every Indian city by the next turn. I really, really like that. Uh, but we need to make sure that we nuke the right cities now, as well as we need to drop the right XCOM units uh, next to the right cities, the corresponding cities. So let's try that out. Um, I know for sure we're going to need some backup for this city that's in the green. Uh, I don't even know if I can attack it because I don't have vision on it. Not, not yet, at least. Yeah, we don't. Hmm. Okay, well, I'll attack this guy. Oh, I don't have vision on that either. I guess we'll go... Uh, no, let's just go Delhi. Just to keep Delhi's health down because that's the next city to attack. Um... Is really yeah this this was terrible we should not have attacked from the Himalayas that was that was bad that was a really bad idea I don't know why I thought that would, that'd be a good idea I have no idea but uh, let's let's drop a few more nukes can't take this stuff with us so I will drop one on Delhi for sure I'm not anywhere I'm not gonna destroy it. yeah no I'm good it didn't take that much away from Delhi but it doesn't matter because I'm just trying to keep this nice and easy for us. For sure need a nuke here. But I don't want to hit the city to the south. Because I don't want the city state to take it over. And that is mine. Actually, I probably could have done a better job at that placement. Will I take anything? Well, I, I might kill my... Yeah, no, I might kill myself if I... Here, let's do... Let's do there. So we still hit this city up here. And we're also hitting this city down this way. We've already done a good job over in the uh, city-state of Africa. The African city-state that was stolen away. And I think that is everything. Very nice. Okay, so a couple of the spies have ran away. It's fine. We don't, we don't even need them. It takes them too long to establish the surveillance, so it's not, it's not that great. Okay, someone's been killed. Let's see what the city-states do. We've got four cities in the red, one city in the yellow, as well as uh, two cities in the yellow. No one can get over here, though. There's no destroyer nearby, I don't think. There, I think that the one that, yeah, I think that one's been destroyed. We might need to buy something from Mecca, which is, ah, uh, we'll see. Or we could buy something from Colombo. It, uh, Mumbai would probably be the best. No, Mecca is probably, is probably the best. Oh, I didn't drop the XCOM units. I was supposed to drop the XCOM units. All right, well, we're not going to be able to do it this turn. We're going to have to do it next turn. Well, at least we should have everything down to the red. Hopefully, they don't, you know, decide to bombard the right units. At any point, though, even, I, I guess it's, it would have been a little bit premature if I tried to do everything within this turn. We're probably going to need at least another two turns here. I'm thinking. The sea state didn't do anything for us, but he did get in the way. Uh... So for sure another turn. And of course, I guess I'll just leave the city state to, to to itself. We'll let the city state do that stuff. As as well as when I destroy all the possible Indian coastal cities, uh we won't have to process for anything like that, so we will be hitting next turn a lot faster as it is. Okay, boom. You good? S this dang city state, man. I think you know I should have I should have known. Should have known they were gonna do that. So I've got an XCOM unit there. I don't think I can take anything over this turn, actually. I'm not ready. I didn't I didn't place my my guys in the right right zones. I could technically try to nuke something to death. <laughs> that's not a bad idea. I don't think that's a bad idea. So yeah, every time I move a rocket artillery north of this city, they always get destroyed. I don't know what kind of units are stationed here. They must be pretty badass though. I, I still have more. I think I still have more nukes within, yeah, Shanghai for sure. Two here also. Four here. Oh, yeah. Maybe I will. Maybe I'll just try to nuke this stuff. Just kill it all. Or I could nuke the city-state. But I'm, I'm located within the city-state. That's, that's a bad idea. I mean, I could try to nuke this, uh, this tie, these tie units out of the way. But why? Because, you know, I don't need... Have, I, well, I, I do have a destroyer that's I could technically use... Hmm. We'll wait and see. We've got a task force ready to go here. Okay, let's see what we got. 
Uh, let's try to take Bangalore first. So can I reach this? I cannot because of a pillage tile. Dang. Okay, so we're, what we're going to do is we're going to have to just bring its health down. I can't nuke this anymore. There we go. There's logistics. So attack twice there. Boom, you're gone. Uh, I'll take out the artillery unit with the missile cruiser, and we're going to head over this way. I Again, like I said, I don't see any more. I, I think the Indian fleet is done. Um, before I get too close, I'll probably nuke this again. Let's nuke this city again. Where is the closest destroyer unit? Ooh, be careful. Let's go and destroy these. Oh my goodness, whoa. Friggin' army of submarines. Let's let's send somebody down this way and take care of them. Try to take care of them at least. Uh, I'm gonna send the destroyer this way just in, just in case. And uh, we'll try to approach this as best we can, but I don't really know how we're gonna do that. You guys better do some more. Yeah, so nothing is gonna happen this turn. Whoops. Okay, I guess just discover future tech one more time. Doesn't doesn't matter. Uh, this is going to have to go, oh man, where were we going before? We're going to a city state. Jeez, I've got so many cities, so many cities to trade with myself to. Just all these, yeah, cities I can trade with myself. Okay, so you know, it's probably for the best to move you this way. Uh, I've already got a melee unit nearby here. Although you're really hurt. I, I could let the city state, I could give the city state the city. Which I, I don't think is really that big of a deal. As long as everyone's eliminated, it's it's okay. Okay, let's let's go ahead and do it. I'll, I'll give them a little bit of help. But that's that's it. Nothing nothing too nothing too much. Uh, there's a destroyer in here. You I don't. Oh, here we go. I can instant heal you. And I'll have to bring you around this way. Okay, before I forget, XCOM units. Very, very important. Now, I, I know I lost a few of them. I think I had a few. Here's one dude. But he's not going to be able to get to the front lines, is he? Oh, no, no, he is. And I could technically get to Delhi. Yeah, let's make sure that we take over Delhi now. Perfect. Okay, so there's no units nearby either. Um, I can't. Yeah, I wouldn't have been able to take over Delhi right now, right? No. Yeah, these guys are still... Uh, I might... Uh, that might have been a mistake. Well, I guess I could always still move you, right? Oh, but I can't move you very far. But that's because I'm in someone else's territory. Uh, now, wait a second here. Now, wait a second. Evasion? Eva evasion? Evasion? Boom, and uh, we might be able to take over the capital now. Yep, there it goes. Okay, well, that was good. Uh, I'm hoping that we get a lot of cultural borders so I can take the XCOM unit uh, just off to the east a little bit. That might help. Yeah, that might help. We might still be about two turns away. Hmm. And there is a spy inside of... Side of Delhi, so we're not going to be able to use him anymore. Wondering if the processing is taking longer because of the spy. Hmm. It might. It could be taking longer for, because of the spy. Okay, so how, how many cities are we down? Uh, let's cross our fingers that the city state actually gets the job done. Takes over that guy. Um, makes our job a little bit easier. Oh, we just won. That's right, I forgot about that. I didn't know, we, I didn't know you could still see this. Well, that's too bad. I didn't realize that this was going to pop up again. You could win multiple ways. Dang it. Ah, oh, man. I would have waited for... for I would have waited for Delhi if I knew that. Graphs don't really matter. Uh, I know that there's going to be people, people that wanted, would have wanted to see this replay now that it's like practically everything. So I'll, I'll go ahead and cycle through this once. Just one time. Then we'll get back to work. Uh, but just, just for any, everyone that kind of wants to see... That was really fun. I, I loved attacking the Middle East. That was very interesting just because it was a tough it was it was tough 
and it, we were pretty vulnerable. Luckily, you know, most of the Western world was not happy with the Middle East, um, but I think it was a good strategy. We took over China, and that was a little bit scary. That was that was that was scary. But I'm just saying, in the very beginning, that was that middle, those Middle Eastern wars were crucial because you know our Russian Empire wasn't as strong. Um, so those were our first amongst our first wars. So Turkey was a tough tough foe. So boom, going after America, Canada, Mexico, taking over all of South America, take out the UK. Boom, take out South Africa and Indonesia at the same time, and then boom. All right. Wait just one more turn. Create a puppet. Let's see how much more movement we have here. Nice. Oh, that's perfect. So I can actually get you over this way now. And actually, I'm going to move the rocket artillery nearby, so hopefully they use the wrong city, the, the, the wrong move to attack. I also have a few more. Oh, I have a few more attacks here. Wow. Hmm, okay, so let's let's keep this guy down. Is there another XCOM unit nearby? Please. I know I should have bought I knew I should have bought more of those. Should have bought a lot more. Is that is that everything? I didn't take anything else to Australia? Well that sucks. I thought I took more. Uh wait a second, I've got this guy. These guys from South Africa. That's that's right. I forgot about these guys. Oh, but can you not can you not reach? Oh, you're not next to a city. Hold on. Let's get you out of the way and put you... Ah, this is... Dang it, they're not... This guy wasn't next to a city. This guy will be able, should be able to do it. Oh, I've got two of them here. Actually, three. Is it next... Is it... Oh, it doesn't matter next... There doesn't... Yeah, next to a city doesn't matter. Wait, did that work? Oh, it did work. Oh, I'm dumb. Oh, I'm dumb. That's that's what it is. I'm just dumb. Okay. So we put one there. Uh, now it seems like we would need one here. Then let's put one in the city state of South Africa. And I think we're good. Uh, from that point, I think we'll be okay. We have all of the necessary melee units nearby. Wait a second. Did I? There, there, there. I was going to say. Was I smoking crack? Did I just imagine I saw one? Oh, we nuked this. Oh, this one's gone. Oh, okay, cool. Okay, well, just just for safety, then I'll I'll even put another XCOM unit, and next next turn should be over. And let's just build the the I guess wealth promote unit here. Uh, I guess I already attacked, so you guys just gonna stay, stay, and next turn, this should be it. Oh, I gotta get the oh wait a second. Okay. Everyone stay there, because we don't need to go to South Africa anymore. I, I'm surprised that we bombed things that, that crazy. Uh, I guess we'll take it out on the next biggest city. So we'll just, just kind of take this down a little bit further. Especially because we have no support from anything else, so we've got to use most of my Air Force for an attack here. Because we won't be able to help, get help, any help for, at all in that direction. Actually, I don't know if we're going to... We It might be kind of close. I don't know if we're going to be able to take this over now, now. Uh, and that's... That's it. Come on, City State. You can do it, man. I'm giving you the opportunity. I'm letting you do this all on your own. Okay, and that's it. Come on. Come on. Thank you. Jamal Lee, let's go. Do I... Does, does, do I have to... Yes, yes, we're done. Okay, next turn. And I got an admiral. I don't know how long that admiral's been moving. I know a lot of the admirals were sent a long time ago. They've got, you know, pretty bad. Uh-oh. So one XCOM unit was destroyed. I don't know where he was. Uh, the one by Bangalore. Uh, they must have done a double bombardment, as well as there's artillery inside of all these cities. I didn't realize that. That's part of the other reason why they're uh, so effective. The good thing is all the other XCOM units are pretty unscathed. Oh my gosh, the city state didn't take it over. Well, that's fine. I'll do it. I'll do it myself. Uh, I don't know if this guy... This guy can't reach, right? We, we, we discovered that. I think we saw that. Pretty sure if I just nuke Bangalore, that will, that will destroy it. If I get all the city... If I get all the ships out of the way, that is. 
that way I don't need to send anything over that way. And it's just going to be, it's going to be, it's interesting because India was the first, I think, country to see uh, them actually nuke something into uh, just rubble. And now that's like the only country we've done it to ourselves. We've just nuked them into rubble. So, I mean, it's just poetic justice. Totally poetic justice here. Hmm. Yeah, so that's that's not bad. That's good, I guess, right? But what I think I might need to do, because I do want to discuss a few things by the end of the by the end of the next episode, discuss a few uh hmm. No. No, I don't I never mind. I was thinking about taking a break. But let's, no, let's just let's just let's just fucking you know go straight through it. Let's let's go straight through it. I was thinking about just these these turn taking process a long time to process, but it's fine. I can talk about some of the things that went good and bad about this campaign right now. I guess uh, it was really really fun, man. I've never played the 2014 mod. I know a lot of you guys have been suggesting it for a really long time. It was it was a great great choice. Um, I'm I'm very very excited that you guys uh, had me play this, and I I. Definitely want to revisit this for sure. I know that we really kind of grinded out the series and stretched it out very, uh, uh, kind of very. We stretched out the series quite a bit, uh, so I know that we can't go back straight into the 2014 mod. I know that you guys already voted for the Civ choice. Uh, we're going back to a TSL traditional kind of uh, TSL world map sort of game, and that'll be really really fun. But I hope that we can maybe go back to the series within the next maybe two or three Civ playthroughs. I want to experiment with it a lot more. Uh, that Again, that's one of the reasons why I, I did stretch out the series is because it was a lot of fun to me. I had so much fun in this series. And I'm going to have even more fun, I think, next time when I'm not playing as, you know, the top two power, most powerful nations in the world. So I think that will be cool. Uh, I don't think I want to play North Korea, even though I have been really obviously toying with that idea the entire campaign playing as North Korea and stuff like that. But the problem with that is it'd be really boring. Really, really boring. And it's impossible to win. Uh, I like, I usually like campaigns where they're impossible to win. But uh, if it's boring and impossible to win, that's that's the issue. Okay, let's, uh, let's go ahead and take this guy down. So we should just use one attack there. Uh, if we take him down like that, that should be good. I think I have a few missile cruisers that have four range that might be able to shoot over all these grasslands to come help out and, and bring some support to the XCOM unit here. Uh, I can use the planes to attack their newly founded capital. And then Bangalore, I think, is already down to zero health as it is. I believe. I could always nuke it off to the side here. Bring it down even a bit more if I needed, if I needed the help. I could nuke my own cities and nuke my own stuff, and th that'd be okay. Yeah, that that'd be okay. Okay, I really, really am hoping that this, these processing times will not take this long for every single city. So three more Indian cities to go. Uh, now my fear is that we won't be able to reach this guy now. Hmm. I don't think we will. Uh, we can bring it way, way, way down. Obviously, we can completely take everything away from this guy. I don't think there's. I don't think it's possible for us to get over there, though. What about with this guy? If I instant heal you, no. The problem is the pillage tile. That is the issue. Uh, also, oh dang, okay, so we need to, this is what I'm going to do. I've got, I've got a, I've got a unit, I've got a nuclear missile here anyways. I am going to nuke over this way, not hit anything of my own, uh, but still hit their city. Oh man, don't be doing that thing again. Dang it, that still was not enough. Okay, so we're going to have to use a, a few aircraft attacks. Where, where did that even come from? I, that, that graphical glitch started coming, and then it's just gone. Knock on wood. Knock on wood. Just trying to beat this thing. Okay, two more turns. Again, I want to figure out a way to beat this now without having process again. 
because those dang barbarians. I think what I'll do next time around, well, first of all, one very important key mod that I need to include for the next 2014 playthrough is, uh, is the info edits. And again, I shouldn't be talking too much about the next 2014 playthrough because that might be quite a long ways away from now. Um, depending on votes and stuff like that, I do really enjoy using straw polls to kind of see exactly what you guys want and to see the, the, the I guess, the most popular uh, demand for, for the series, uh, for the next Civ 5 series. I'm very, th I, you know, I'm very excited to go to the TSL. I'm just kind of playing with the idea of another 2014 campaign at some point here. We might want to eliminate Barbarians using the... Uh, the in-game editor, as well as, you know, we need for sure info addicts. That's very, very important. Okay, so there's something weird going on. Uh, oh, that's right. What I was thinking about was trying to go in like this with some of the units that have extra range, which is you. Okay, perfect. Ah, but there's a hill tile. Okay, well, that doesn't even matter. So we'll put we'll put you there. And that actually should be enough because I think I still have, yeah, I still have a, quite a bit. Give you siege. We have two attacks. And boom. Okay, so the XCOM unit will walk into there. We'll have to take one more turn. I'll talk about a few more things that I, I, I might want to see from another series. Uh, I guess, I guess you know, what we can do uh, is a little Easter egg is if you guys made it this far in the video. Um... I'll talk about some of the series, some of the some of the nations that I'm thinking about playing for the next TSL. Uh, for some reason, I can't shake shake China. China has been on my list of nations that I've wanted to play for a really, really, really long time. The problem is with TSL China, it's going to be I think boring. I feel like it, my fear is it's going to be boring in East China, uh, in Eastern Asia. You know, we don't really border anybody. Mongolia would be scary if we set it to a higher difficulty. Uh, Korea would be scary, but. Uh, I don't know. You know, there's a little bit of space. We have Siam all the way down to the south, and then India, which we'd be pretty safe from because of the Himalayas. I really want to do that that game, but then again, I've already done kind of an Eastern Asian TSL map with Japan, so that might not be the best idea. Um, you could probably only destroy. No, you could probably you could destroy. I think all of them. We for sure need another XCOM unit, and I think I have it here. I don't. Uh, yeah, that's perfect. So this would be hopefully the one to get the job done. I'll put you on the hill, and just for the heck of it, just to kind of distract you, maybe make you make the wrong choice. I'll go like this, and then I will go like this. It is so good this campaign is ending because man, uh, this thing has been a kind of a big wreck. Okay, so I'll just tell everyone to to go go away. Uh, everything is starting to. To mess up. Promote a unit. Doesn't matter. Okay, there we go. Next turn. Uh, yeah, so China's one. Um, England is another one. Now, here, here's the problem with England. Uh, I got a submarine destroyed. I know everyone wants to see me play as England or the Netherlands. I'm playing with the idea. Um, the problem is that everyone plays as England. And you got to realize that there is a... there is. I mean, I guess, I guess I'm to the point where I can play... A, a series like, you know, with a super popular Civ like England. Um, it, when I was really when I was really uh, starting out with the channel, I had to strictly play uh, Civs that don't get a lot of attention because, you know, everyone else was playing the bigger Civs and, and you, know, they, you know, everyone would search for that. So in order for me to get noticed, I'd play Civs that didn't play, uh, didn't get a lot of attention. I think to, now to the point where I probably can, uh, I know a lot of people want, want to see me also play as the Netherlands. I'd be right there in the middle of Europe, which would be interesting. But, well, I mean, I, 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 I don't know. I, I'm, play, I'm toying with a lot of ideas. All this stuff is tentative. Um, I've already done a Roman campaign where I took over all, all of Europe, but this would be different because I'd be going after the entire world. I'm thinking of a TSL, TSL 43 Civ map where I try to win. That would have to be on Emperor difficulty. I think the only way I would be able to win would be England. Have to, you know, maybe take out the Celts very fast. Yeah, we might do that. Um, Netherlands would be fun as well. A lot of people have suggested the Netherlands. I think that I, I also would love to play as Morocco. I'd absolutely love to play as Morocco. 
But that probably would have to be like a strictly European map. Uh, play as Morocco, go after Spain, you know, start attacking Iberia, and then move up from there. That would be fun. Or actually, you know, Carthage. Yeah, that's... But then again, that's a lot like the Roman campaign if I were to play as Carthage. I, you know, I remember I, before the Civ Russia series, the Putin series, uh, I played as Rome on a TSL, just a European map, though. I don't, I don't want it to be too similar to that campaign. For sure, yeah. Uh, I, I don't know. I'm, I, I'm just spitballing here. Again, I might come up with something that's completely different than, than what I'm talking about. Just kind of get, you know, some thoughts going, where did this Marine come from? And they destroyed a submarine and they destroyed one XCOM unit. That's fine. Uh, Bangalore is done. And that means that the series is finally coming to a close whenever these dang barbarians decide to stop. I wonder what gl glitch that is. I have no idea. I, I have not experienced as many glitches as a, with any other mod. I guess it makes sense. I mean, the, the, the 2014 mod is so extensive. But I feel like if, if I was going to see a lot of glitches like this, it would be with the Red World War II scenario. Like that was that was I, I feel like I mean they're both I think on par with pretty drastically changing mods. Uh, this one seemed to have had a lot more difficulty running smoothly, performance wise. Wise clearly. I mean this is. But then again, with the I never really tried to take over this many cities in the red uh, scenario, so that. That makes sense. That makes sense. So what I'm going to do is that when I destroy the city, I'm going to just end it right there. Uh, I'm not going to wait for us to actually take it because uh, it just takes too dang long. There we go. Finally. Jeez. Okay. So I'll keep you there. What? what why are you even showing me this? Oh my gosh. I got. I got to stay. I got to stay down. There we go. And then we can take it over with this guy. I guess it doesn't really matter. All right, guys, that's the end of the series. Thank you so much for following the series. I, I thank you so much for enjoying. Thank you all for all for giving me the suggestions, the help that I needed. Um, it's been really, really fun. I, I, clearly, I had a really fun ride with this one. Uh, it was just it was something so different, and I love kind of playing with the co the whole like modern uh, sort of theme. Take it, taking a step away from history and going to kind of present day politics and stuff like that. I know that my politics, my politic knowledge is maybe not as good as I thought initially when I started the series. But hopefully it's grown as as this series has come to a close. Um, but uh, but I do I do kind of want to wait and see if I just take it. I mean, I know I'm going to take it, but I mean, like, I do want to see what it uh, just to kind of I feel like there's going to always be that person like, I don't know if you actually took it. It could have it could have not happened. Boom. India's dead, and uh, create a puppet, and that's the game. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.